Hello and good morning wherever you are. I've been getting up at about 5 a.m. recently for the past two weeks. And I've been getting up a lot earlier to get a lot more things worked on. Get more things rearranged, cleaned, but most importantly to get more doodles and drawings done. I've been so far about 70% done with the sketchbook. Maybe 65, eh, about... 60 to 70 percent done with the sketchbook and when I get done I'll be showing everybody all the doodles inside of it and what I think of them but we're getting there we're making progress all the drawings in the sketchbook are done in ink various ink pens from roasting rice graphs to fountain pens to microns and other technical pens most of the time when I draw, I don't really have a plan. I don't have an idea. I just start creating something. It's more so just in the moment. It's just whatever I feel like making. I don't really have much of any idea. I just start drawing things and things just come about and are there. And when it comes to drawing realistic, as I've said before, I've always preferred drawing doodles and creating just whatever I feel like creating in the moment. It's more of a stress relieving and relaxing thing to do than if I spend so much time trying to be extremely technical and draw things with precision and doing realism and all that. I just find doodling to be more relaxing. Although I, I do like to draw technical and make things precise to improve my drawing. But I think for the most part, if you just start drawing things and just not worry so much about making everything perfect, you'll improve just by the simple fact of repetition and hand control and repetitive drawing of making doodles over and over. And you improve the muscle memory in your hand and your hand and eye coordination. And over time, just by doodling things, you can improve the drawing quite a bit. And I think... I think a lot of artists that get into drawing and they feel that they're not very good and they start comparing themselves to other people, I think that what they should start doing is just doodling. Draw whatever comes to your mind. Just, just, just create something and don't be so worried about trying to make everything perfect. But at the moment, I am just made myself some eggs this morning for breakfast and then I'm going to eat some oatmeal. And right now I have some coffee brewing and I'm going to drink that when that's done. And as soon as I'm done drinking the coffee, I'm going to start on some doodles and just go from there. But it is currently 6.30 a.m. I woke up at 5 a.m. And I've been going to bed about the same time, about 11 o'clock at night. And things are going pretty good. Um, just getting a lot more things done since I'm waking up earlier, I, I, I noticed that when I woke up later, I didn't feel like I was getting a really good start in the day because whenever I would stay up really late, I had a hard time getting to bed and um, I wasted a lot of time just laying there in bed, just thinking about stuff and then I started thinking about things I shouldn't be thinking about and then uh, I, I should just use more of the energy and that all that thinking into drawing and being productive and so I, I am thinking about getting a couple of new fountain pens maybe some really cheap ones that are like a dollar test them out and see how that goes but I do have another sketchbook when I get this one complete and it's about the same size but it's a different brand I think it's called uh, Dale Rowney it's an, an even cheaper uh, brand than the Pentalog sketchbook. But I'll test that out. See how the doodles go in that sketchbook. And uh, when that one's done, just like this one, I'll show everybody how all those doodles came out and everything. But yeah, things are going pretty good. And then once that one's done, I'll try and finish up these moleskin sketchbooks. I, I usually prefer drawing in smaller sketchbooks. Because if I'm drawing in a big sketchbook, oh, it, just, it, it, it takes so long to get each page done. It takes like an entire day 
because there's so many little details packed in it, packed into every single page that, um, I wouldn't say I get impatient, it's just that it, it, it just takes so long to get done, that I prefer just drawing in a smaller sketchbook and getting more sketches and drawings and doodles done, uh, well, they're more like doodles, not really sketches, but... I have a lot of ideas about things that just come to me in the moment, and I like to to get one doodle done, and then I still have that idea in the back of my mind, and then I can start on another doodle, and then have that done, and then like while I'm working on that doodle, I have more ideas and like thoughts in the moment that I can then apply to the next doodle, whereas if I'm doing a big doodle, I've got to try to to cram it all in that same page, and then I, I start getting, uh, it, it, it has become, um, relaxing then. So yeah, just always enjoyed the smaller sketchbook so far, and I started doodling with, uh, my, my technical pen, it's like a, a point zero five, and I bought this online about a year ago for really cheap, and I like them because I can do a lot of little fine details, and not have to worry about whether or not I damage the pen because like each pen is 50 cents so whereas my Rotring Isograph those 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 are pretty expensive they're about $40 each so yeah quite expensive but yeah, things are going pretty good and I hope things are going well for you and I wonder what I should draw next I'm not quite sure but as I said before it's always in the moment I just I just I just draw lines, draw some dots, and have some fun, but I'm going to go ahead and go finish eating my breakfast, and then drink some of my coffee, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know, and until then, I'm going to keep on doodling, and uh, I hope you keep, keep on doodling as well, but have a good day, have a good morning, well, it could be nighttime where you're at, but Nevertheless, have a good morning and have a good day, and I'll see you later.